Welcome all. Today, I'm going to teach you how to play Blue Coats 2016 snare break, and it goes just like this. So this was one that I had loads of requests for. It's a difficult one because it's in 3-4. However, apart from the speed, I'm pretty sure I can get you playing this in no time at all. At the end of the lesson, as usual, I'm gonna play it slow, medium, and fast. We're gonna get stuck straight in on that first line. I'm gonna do most of this straight away to a metronome. This one's more about learning um, the melody, the tunes, rather than it is one yander, two yander, and all that kind of stuff, okay? If you look at this first two bars, we've got a pattern that basically goes um, da, 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 da. Da 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 da. So you get that in your head. Ba da 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 ba da ba da da. Now look at the sticking. Right, left, right, right. Well, that's a paradiddle, isn't it? Ba ra di do. Right, left, right, left. Ba ra di do. Right, left, right, left. Right. Ba ra di do. Right, left, right, left. Right. Ba ra di do. Right, left, right, left. Right. Well, that right, left, right has got a double in there. So that gives us this pattern. Uh, red did do right left right light right right so easier to play than say right now this break is something crazy like 240 beats per minute right we're gonna learn it way down at uh, what we got in here 170 so let's have a little go so it's in three four but I'm gonna pretend this in sixes alright so one two three four five six ba do ba 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 da do ba Two, three, four, five, six. Ba ra di do, right left, right. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Now the actual patterns that happen then, right? What we've got is we've got left hand claves. That means the sticks backwards. We're about two, three fingers away from the edge of the drum, and we're doing this with our left hand, all right? Our right hand is going to hit the side of the drum and sort of come upwards, all right? And they're going to do para do. So that's going right, left, and hitting the stick in that kind of position there, all right? So. Now the next part, the part is going to go back rim of the drum. Not a rim shot, but just the rim of the drum. And then the little diddle is on the snare drum, right? So that's going to give us. This will spend, sorry, take a few minutes doing this, all right? For me, I had to do this loads of times because it kept confusing me. It's not hard. But you just got to do loads of times to get the tune in your head, all right? That, 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 that. The next part, we've got a passage that goes like this. So you can hear we've got this first part that's in two threes. One, two, one, three, one, two, one, three. And that's gonna be that. Right, 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 left, right, 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 left. So make sure you can do that. Right, 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 left, right, 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 left, right, 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 left. However, our left hand's gonna be in the clave stick. We're gonna hit the top of the stick, then the diddle on the snare drum, and then the left hand does that part. So one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three, one, two, one, three. Just do a bunch of those. And then the final bar of that bar, the final bar of that line, I should say, is going to go da 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 right 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 left right 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 left right 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 left right. With well, the two first rights, we actually do that. So we're not going and buzzing it. It's kind of a press. So da 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 left right. Now while that's happening, the left hand's got to go from down here to back into traditional technique, all right? Some of you might have to move your hand up the stick to grab it. Some of you might be in the right position. You can just quickly bring your hand up and grab it, right? You have to figure that out. So we've got left hand down by the side. And that's the pattern, all right? Right, 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 left, right. Right, 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 left, right. Right, 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 left, right. If we add that onto the part before, we're gonna get the last two bars. And again, we'll do this with a met. Two, three, four, five, six. 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 
I try that whole up that line, two, three, four, five, six. So this next two bars is quite a difficult part, right? When you see it playing at full speed, this is very difficult to get the speed, right? Just get the interpretation first, the speed will come. You can see the first bar, we've got a grandma, which is basically power diddle stop or a lesser rap. Power diddle stop. There's two ways of thinking of these two bars. I'm gonna teach you number one first, right? We're gonna play two grandmas. Power diddle stop, power diddle stop. Power diddle stop, power diddle stop. Then at the end of that second grandma, we're gonna go left, right, left to take us to the down beat. One, the other two, and the three, the other one. Again with the met. Two, three. 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 Now that left hand, that release, was a quiet one. That's going to start us with diddles, as in like 16th notes. Left hand lead. One hand, two hand, three hand, four hand, one hand, two. That kind of feel, but we're going to get... this. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. Two, three. So you can see we've got diddle, 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 and then two lots of threes. But it's all 16th notes, just sound like. Release. With a rim shot. So that would give us. Now the other way of thinking about it. Right, it's going to give the same outcome, but some people will find this way interesting and easier, is if you play, but don't think of that second part as a grandma. Think of it as a paradiddle. And we're going to go paradiddle stop, and then we're going to do paradiddle, and then we're going to do a paradiddle diddle diddle. Which many of you have done, but giving you that reference, paradiddle diddle diddle diddle, will help you when you play it really fast, right? So, power diddle stop, power diddle, power diddle, diddle, diddle stop. Now, to show you what I mean, if I move the accent so I get... It's a little bit easier. And I can just have those threes on. It'd be in that. You'd all learn it a lot quicker, right? So then you just think of it as an upbeat paradiddle. Downbeat paradiddles are paradiddle, paradiddle. Upbeats are paradiddle, paradiddle. So there's one upbeat paradiddle there. We get a grandma, one upbeat paradiddle, then a paradiddle, diddle, diddle, then two threes with a release. That's a bad example. So at speed. It's hard, and you have to really work that part, right? But we ain't doing it fast yet. What's more with the mat? So, one, two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Next up, we get a nice little pattern, right? This is difficult, so we get these little drop kind of motions that happen, right? We're gonna get two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Now, if you're struggling with that, especially when you do it faster, what you can do is just focus on the right hand, because the right hand's going to go. Two, three, four, five, six. That's wrong. Four, five, six. Let's do it in a minute, because I'm stuck messing up then. Four, five, six. Two, three, four, five, six. Two, three, fill the lefts. Two, three, four, five, six. 
So that line's a difficult one, right? Two, three, four, five, six. Now when this is blazing, this part here, that's that air uh, nine, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, is real quick, right? So you gotta really pull that out. Anyway, let's jump to the third line. All right, so third line, we looked quite easy. We've got, and we end with the rim shot. With the mat. Two, three, four, five, six. 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 Next line. We start off with. So it's kind of the same pattern, look. It's still groupings of five notes, but the first grouping is right, left, right, left, right. The second grouping is left, right, left, right, left. And the third grouping is para, did, or stop, right? So. So make sure you've got that. Digga, digga, da, digga, digga, da, para, digga, stop. Again, this is crazy fast. A full tempo, right? And then it's going to be a right hand release, all right? Release. Again, we do it with the Met. Two, three, four, five, six. 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 So this roll for some people is going to be a difficult one, right? There's a four written above it. That's because we're playing over the count, over the space of three counts. One, two, three. We're going to play four notes. Now that means it's a four over three poly with them, right? Four over three poly with them sounds like this. Uh, Right, so the four is going to be what our right hand's going to be doing. One, two, three, four. And the fifth one will be released. One, two, three, four, five. So I'll show you that. Two, three. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Stop. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Stop. Two, three. One, two, three, four. Stop. Two, three. Did all that. Two, three. Two, three. That's going to be... Last two notes just in time with the mat. Two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that whole last line. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, so that's all the parts broken down. This is one that's gonna take you a little bit of time unless you do it nice and slow. I'm gonna play it real slow now, 170 beats a minute. I'll do my best to stay in time. Try and lock in with me. Let's see if we can get you playing this. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, that was a bit better, right? So that was at 170 beats a minute, right? It's gonna go a lot faster now. We're gonna take up to 200. One, two, three, four, five, six. So that 
roll's already getting pretty damn tasty, yeah? Also, I'm a little bit slow on that part there. So real push with me this time, right? One, two, three, four, five, six. So the actual please speed they're playing it, and I did that video at the start was around about 140. I'm gonna do it 130 with you now. The problem we have when we're doing this one with the metronome is the metronome's making so much noise. Beep, 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 at this tempo. It's really hard to lock in. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna change the metronome a little bit. Instead of doing, instead of doing this, one, two, three, one, two, I'm gonna make it just do the ones. Okay, here we go. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, one more. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, we'll take that one. So, if you've got through all this far, nice work, all right? It's a difficult one. Don't be upset if you can't get the speed yet, right? Learn it slow, you'll get it if you just keep doing it again, 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 and again, and again. It's, a more, it's an easier one to do with them and slow down their video on YouTube than it is to do with a metronome as well. So good luck with that. If you're enjoying these lessons, as I always say, please subscribe, leave me some comments, go check out the merch, go check out my books, and I'll see you next time. Thanks for watching.